Hi, it's Miss Crystal, and we're gonna just talk about some books, okay? So this post uh, is devoted to manga, but before we get into why I did manga and all that fun stuff, um, so you know that Flossmore Library, Youth Services Department, we've started a YouTube channel, um, we also have a Facebook page as always. Now, my videos are going to be, me and Miss Jenny's videos are gonna be uploaded to YouTube, you know, every week or whatever, a couple times a week. Um, whatever day this comes out on Facebook, it will also be coming out on YouTube. Um, and that means I'm gonna put a list of the books that I mention in each video underneath in the, in the description label. So if you can't follow along, um, cause I'm talking too fast, or if you just don't want to listen to me talk, <laughs> then you can just click on that and um, I'll have them separated by grade level and you can explore them on your own, okay? So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna do some manga for today. Um, I guess I decided to do manga because it is kind of, it's super fun, it's such a fun genre. I think that sometimes people get pigeon-told and they think that manga is one thing or that it's only like Pokemon and like, I don't know, Bleach. <laughs> but there are so many titles and there's something for everyone if you're willing to give it a chance. Um, it also can be super overwhelming in that sense. And also what can be overwhelming is trying to find titles that fit into a certain age group because you can't always tell just by the ratings on the back or by artwork. So I guess I'm just giving you a couple things to start out with to get you going, okay? So first things first, I'm gonna start with um, my middle grade series, so this is gonna be like middle school, middle grade, you get the picture. Okay, so first thing, Splatoon. Splatoon, um, there's a couple volumes in this already, uh, and it's basically based off of the Nintendo game Splatoon, uh, and this this manga series is based off of like the blue team in the, in the game. Uh, and the main character name is Goggles, yeah. And he has like three other friends. I think one of them is named like Headphones and like Specs. I don't know, they're like weird names. Um, <laughs> and their whole like point is that they have to spread as much ink as possible. Um, and when you spread ink, that means that you have like taken over that territory. So it's like a territory game. Okay, so you're trying to get as much territory as possible and the way you get that is by spreading your ink um, and you have to fight the other teams that are also trying to take over territory as well. Um, it goes by the same rules as the video game. So they, they turn into like these squid creatures sometimes. Yeah, weird, I know, but you know, it's cute. I don't know, it's like a fun one, go for it. Okay, next thing, Comey can't communicate. So this is super duper cute. Like I've been reading this online um, mostly and Comey Can't Communicate is basically about this girl Comey um, and she is in like, I wanna say like middle school and she is basically like super duper um, socially anxious so she doesn't talk to people like ever. Like she like barely ever speaks. Um, and she's not very good with like emotion regulation. So she doesn't like show her emotions on her face that well either um, and That leads to like her actually being really popular at school because people think that she's Super like aloof and mysterious, but really she just like doesn't know how to talk to people <laughs> Which is sad. So she ends up at, at lunch. I think like this kid Tadano He has like detention or something She's just trying to hide out and so they're in the classroom at lunchtime and they start talking to each other and he not talking about writing on the board because she's so anxious she can't even like speak to him. Um, and so like he realizes that she never talks um, and she's like yeah because of that I don't really have any friends um, and that's something that I would like. And so he's like that's cool we'll be friends and also I will help you get other friends. So the whole series is about Tadano helping uh, Comey get friends, helping her overcome her anxieties. Um, it's very, very cute, and so far, I love it. Okay, last two, we're on a roll. So, we've got our young adult, like high school age novels. Okay, this one's called Aoharu Ride. 
Um, it also is called Blue Spring Ride if you're looking for it online. Um, this title's hard to see. I mean, this cover's hard to see. But the artwork is actually really good. And it's like more of a rom-com manga, slice of life romance one. And uh, it's about this girl, Futaba. She is 16 and she runs into her like love, this guy she was in love with in middle school, which I think is crazy that she like already has like a romance history at 16, but whatever. So she runs into him and she's like, yeah, like I want to be friends with you or something like, you know, it's been a long time. And, um, but he's like super closed off and he's completely different than what she remembers. Um, so it's kind of just about like how people change, um, but also how at the root of everything they kind of stay the same. So yeah, it's about them developing friendships. It's about her trying to figure out what happened to him to change him um, in such a dramatic way. And uh, yeah, it's just like a nice easy one. Okay, last but not least is Children of Wales. So this is more of like a fantasy one. It's about this kid, Chakuro, Chakuro, who lives on this mud whale ship. On this mud whale ship, they sail not on water, but on, um, on like sand. <laughs> yeah, so think like a ship in a desert. And um, on the ship, there are people who can do magic. Uh, if you can do magic, then your lifespan is like shortened significantly. If you can't do magic, then you have like a longer lifespan. So it's like a give and take. Um, and then they like run into this island where they see this girl and they're trying to figure out like what she's doing there by herself. Um, and also like larger questions about like this um, fantasy society as a whole. So it's an adventure, it's fantasy, gotta love it. Okay, so those are four titles. Each one of them have multiple volumes in the series that are readily available at the library. Um, that's kind of it. That's all I have to say. Goodbye.